Okay, everybody, welcome back to the DGS 2605 channel. We're back with MLB Power Pros 2008, our season mode with your Toronto Blue Jays. Last time we finished off a road trip to uh, Rangers Ballpark in Arlington, swept the Texas Rangers, still undefeated on the season. Now we head to Camden Yards, I believe their field's name. Oriole Park, okay. This is before uh, Camden Yards. And, uh... Let's go ahead and get our correct pitcher here. See, how once every guy's tired, it thinks Wakefield should be starting, but when Oswald's ready, why would we waste time with that? 0 0.5 ERA, that's very impressive. So, I figure we're not going to have a chance if we're the ones taking bat first. So, let's go ahead and do it now. Okay. Blue Jays. Let's play ball. And I'm looking at their lineup. I'm not particularly scared of it. Julio Lugo is DH. They got Big Game James as the pitcher on the mound. The guy who gave up a home run to Bartolo Colon. Of course, that was eight years after this came out. He hit that 2016. No, maybe it was 2014. But literally, like, over five years. That's crazy. That makes me feel old. All right, we're going to skip past that. Let's see what we got here. Richard really is going to lead off. That's a very high ERA. We seem to be notice, noticing a trend here among these pitchers. We're off to a slow start, both performing and, I guess in the Orioles' case, literally. First pitch goes for a strike. That's well off the plate. Cutter. So he's got, what, the fastball, the cutter. Was that a changeup or a splitter he threw first? Here's the next pitch. Curveball goes for strike two. And he got the bat on it. That's going right to Great Molina at first. One out. All right, here's Ray Durham. To fall the switch hitters in our lineup and the lefties. Seems we're in a pretty good spot here. Going against the right-handed pitcher. Quick 1-1 one, one count. The wind is mildly in uh, our favor, batting, and in the favor of our righties going northwest, one factor. Count is 1-2. Let go by, all right, nice. Count is even a 2. Here it comes from big game, James. Full count. Here's the payoff pitch. We got a hold of that. Is that going to fall out there? It's looking like it will. Yes, it will. Base hit. Already, that's the first base hit of the night for us. I really wish the uh, performance would do a little better here because we haven't been above, I want to say, 70% batting yet. As in the game performing, not the players performing. Wild pitch, and Ray Durham's going to get there before a fielder can. Easy wonder if that goes down as a stolen base. But you know what, Berkman, you got a guy in scoring position? You know what I want. Second ball. And he's pitching around Berkman because, you know, we might finally have a pitcher who learns his lesson. You don't pitch right ahead to Lance Berkman. Really any batter in this lineup. Count is even at 2-2. Two -two. Berkman got a hold of it. Over the head of the shortstop, to the wall, one nothing. There you go, that's the story one. And they got short walls there in the outfield. Something to look at. Immediate one nothing. let's take a look at that ERA. Over nine now. He's only got the one out in the game so far. Curveball well out of there, Ken, it's 2-0. 3-0 and now. In case he throws a mistake, let's keep Rios waiting, but that one go by. Let's let this one go by. Alright, full count. And got a hold of it, another base hit. Only going for a single, but look who's up next. Long Gone Braun. I think that's a great nickname for him. How many homers he's got? Like 12? 15, excuse me. 
12 games into the season and already 15 home runs. Count the strike zone with the changeup, strike one. Strike two. Braun gets a hold of that one. Is that going to go for a base hit? It's caught by the second baseman. That's going to be a double play. And that ends the inning, so that was a well-placed pitch by Shields. Jays leave the two men on. Well, technically one, I guess, but... Anyways, we got the one nothing lead heading into the bottom of the first. And on the mound, of course, is Oz. I'll start him off half ball. Kazuo Matsudi, switch hitter. Fastball strike one. We got a slider, of course. Got a hold of that. And that's going for an immediate base hit. Leadoff man gets the first hit of the game for the Orioles. Steve Kotze. Mark Kotze, excuse me. Not a very dangerous hitter. Lined out to shortstop, one out. Matt Diaz. Matt Diaz, I'm not... Did he say Diaz? Oh, we all know it's Diaz. I mean, you know what? Compare this guy to Edwin Diaz. Uh, maybe it is pronounced differently. Several shades later, I should say. Austin Kearns. Austin Kearns. This guy could be a bit of a problem. Rover, I'm not really scared of anybody in this lineup. As soon as I say it, it's a 1-1 game. The wind is slightly in their favor now. Well, it's more in their favor than it was for us, I should say. Look at that, yep. Perfect base hit up the middle out of the reach of Rich Aurelia. Bartlett here. Going for a stolen base, you can't try that. Good throw by Leduca, got the out. But it's already a 1-1 game. Well, 1-1 after the first inning. Leading off six batter, Mike Lowell. There you go. Now's the game. Game's finally performing better. Really think what happens is like the computer will be doing, you know, like background process and all that. And then if I try to end any of them to have better performance here, it'll say, oh, it's a backward process. You're going to make Windows unstable, which is annoying because it's very fickle. But maybe it just really wanted to savor that first inning. Who knows? And Lowell gets his bat on it. Is that going to be? Yes, it is. Caught by Bartlett. One out. Luke Scott. Now Luke Scott's back. Uh, we drafted him from the Baltimore Orioles. He's back in his home stadium, I should say. Count us 1-1. Count us 2-1. Tell you what, I got a hunch. 3-1. and one. I'll let this one go by. Already payoff pitch. He's gotten a lot of 3 2 counts so far. And that's hit by Scott right to Bartlett, thrown across, two out. Alright, Paulo Duca. Very high average so far. Three home runs, 10 RBIs. First pitch go for strike one. There's ball one. How many pitches he's thrown? 37. He's almost at 40. He's guaranteed to have 40 pitches. Let's just let him throw this one. Just in case. Full. Alright, two payoff pitches in a row. One resulted in a ground out. And that one's foul. He hasn't allowed a walk yet. Another base hit. Is that one going fair? Yes, it is. Single. Good piece of hitting by Luke Scott. That's That gets us to the last batter in the lineup, Curtis Granderson. The outfield's going to shift for him. Strike one. Oh, fan on that. That's strike two. That could have been well out of here, but that's going to go for a base hit there. Back-to-back -back base hits, and Rich really is up next. The win is not as strong for us. It's only one instead of two. Cutter goes for strike one. 
Ball one. That did catch a strike zone, though, so we got that call in our favor. Count is 2 1. That one's hit. Foul. That had some legs on it, though. That go by. Count is even a 2 2. Full count now. So another payoff pitch. And really, it gets that one, but it's going to be caught by Kearns. So once again, we leave two men on. Frankly, this game is still close. We don't want the game to go this way. Looking at 5 6 7 coming up for the Orioles. Starting off Bartlett. Yep, we pitched to him earlier, but of course, we caught Kearns stealing. Strike one. Popped up. Ah, oh, it's got that. Alrighty. Holy oh, Lugo, this is the one guy I know that can be a dangerous hitter. Does not. As DH, he isn't uh, very impressive so far. No home runs on the season. But he did get himself a base hit on last. Nope, that's certainly a base hit. Alright, one on, one out. Facing Creed right on the Mendoza line. Swinging, let's go for the uh, curve. Strike him out, throw him out, double play. He's got some legs on him. That's perfect. Alrighty, that's how you win an inning. So the strike him out, throw him out, double play, and the bottom of the second. That's what I like to see. Top of the third now. Ray Durham. Now, Shields has pitched himself into a lot of 3-2 counts, so let's just let him throw a couple. Let's just see what he's got. That one went his favor. That's 1-2. 2-2 count now. It's going to be like the f another payoff pitch. Nope, Durham gets a hold of that one, and that's going for a base hit. Lance Berkman. Tell you what, you know what? Why not? Let him get tired, but in case the right one comes your way, Lance, swing for the fences. Or for the wall. Or for the flagpoles, I should say, out in the... Out past the, uh... Left center wall. Two count, not a fan of that. And he's keeping an eye on Durham. Berkman gets a bit of it. That's right to Bartlett a shortstop. He didn't even have to move. That was a good decision to move the field back. The win is very much in our favor. Rios, you know what? Maybe the right one comes your way. Ball one. And he's keeping an eye on Durham, even though I never steal. Ball two. I'm I'm just waiting for it. He's real. Yeah, he's. I, th I think he's having a little worries about hitting the strike zone. There's two one. He just wants to keep an eye on Durham because he's doing it again. That's the third time this at bat. I'm telling. He is not moving. You have my assurance. Three one. Payoff pitch. Rios got a hold of that one. That could have gone for ball four, but instead it's going for a base hit. So now Durham's on second. And look who's up. So last time he got into a double play. I say, you know what? If you don't like anything that comes your way, Bron, <clears throat> excuse me. Just let everything go by. Like, let's avoid the double play. Count is one, two. Count is 2-2 now. Got him swinging. We still have one more out in the inning, but here's Mike Lowell. Strike one. Strike two. Okay, well. 
There's that ball. Let's check his pitch count. 75 already. We're not even out of the third inning. Fouled that one back. That was risky. Man, that one was tough to lay off. Counts 2-2 two -two now. Full. Again, with two outs. See what he does. And that one was pulled well, but it was not far enough. That's going to be caught by Diaz. That's a shame. He's going to be getting tired eventually down there. It's only the third inning. We left another two men on. Seems to be a running theme today. Heading into the bottom of the third, see what Oz has got. Facing LaRue, who's a pretty good hitter. Strike one. Got him swinging at strike two. Show him what the splitter can do. Struck him out. Second of the game. Great Molina. Well below the Mendoza line, but he does have a home run. Shouldn't count him out. That's very uh, interesting to put your first baseman last in a lineup. And that's pretty much the hitting position. Second out. Kazuo Matsui. Got out of the inning already. So now we got we got the bottom part of our lineup coming up, but of how many pitches he's thrown. And we got uh, two lefties. I'm not scared. His ERA is below eight now. It's out of seven and a half, which... Certainly better than what he came in with. And first pitch, Luke, Luke Scott Lakes swings at it. We got a man on first. All right, Loduca, just wait on it. There it is. He's getting tired. The win is a factor of two. It's not as good as three, but certainly better than one or none. Count goes our way. Count is even at one. I mean, it did catch the majority of the strikes, so I can't get angry at that. Count is even at two. And that's hit foul. Staying alive. Make him throw one more. And there you go. Or is that going to have enough on it? It's going. It's going. It's going. It's going. Stays in the park. But we got men on second and third. Two guys in scoring position. No outs. They're going to take a look at that again. That was what we were waiting for. This is the time to break through. I thought it might have enough to get out of there, but just not enough at the warning track. All right, Curtis Granderson, your lefty, lefty righty matchup. See what you can do. Even if you just hit it and get a sack fly, that's good. Once again, another count goes our way. He's getting a lot of pitches just right on the line. There it is. Is that one out of there? Is that one out of there? Yes, it is. Granderson gets the three-run shot, and it's a four-run lead for the Toronto Blue Jays. Four-one lead, not a four-run lead, excuse me. That was a weak pitch, and it got what it deserved. Home run number six on the season. Got three RBIs on that. And are they going to take him out, I wonder? That was exactly what we were waiting on, and we made it count. How far did he get out there? It got up there pretty far. It like almost out of the park. That's actually pretty impressive. Looks like they're taking him out. Yep. Now here's this Donardo guy. And we only have a three-run lead. He has an ERA under two and a half. And of course he's a reliever. Well, I don't know if uh, what was it, Texas, whichever team had like three closers on the roster. Can't really go uh, bank on the. That should have gone for a ball. Come on. And so he strikes out looking. Cannot blame him really on that. Two for two, Ray Durham. Let's just see what this guy has. Oh, and he got lucky there. Didn't allow it to get past him. Now it's two outs. Now Lance Berkman taking shots as a right hander. And the win is strong enough. Might as well just go for it. It's going. It's going. Is that going to be enough? Just caught at the wall. So we got the 
three runs when we needed it. Four for ten. That's still better than one for three that the Orioles have heading into the bottom of the fourth now. Two, three, and four batters will be facing off against. Here's Katze. That's the shortstop. First out. All right. Now he hits for average. He does not hit for power, apparently, and he only has three RBIs in the three spot. Now, a lot of these stats might just be reflective of, hey, the guys in front of him can't get on base. And, you know, if you're playing against Roy Oswalt, I think I can see why you can't get on base. Now, he has an RBI current so far in the game, but he's being pinched to with no men on and two outs. Got him swinging. That's what we want. That's also through four innings now, only allowing one run and three hits. There we go. That was a quick uh, half of the inning. Facing 4-5-6 now for the Blue Jays. Alex Rios just mirrors his uh, sweet spot a little bigger. And he crushes that right to shortstop. One out. Let's not get ahead of ourselves here. We got to make him tired. And Braun, you need a base hit. But you can hit for power. Strike one from DiNardo. Interesting name for a baseball player. That's hit way up high. That's not going to be deep enough. Two down. And Lowell is 0 for 2 tonight as well. Strike one. That's pulled right to the shortstop again. Bartlett makes a throw. Got him easy. So that's three up, three down for Toronto. And then to the bottom of the fifth, Oswald's getting right back to work. Facing five, six, seven. So really, at least on paper, this Orioles lineup is not very scary. Show him the splitter. Got him swinging again. That's what, four strikeouts now? Yep. Just keep pounding the zone. He's still got a three-run cushion. But the way he's going, I think he's going to have another uh, complete game. That's going foul. You get him reaching on the slider. He got a piece of it, but not nearly enough. It's going to be easily caught. Give back to Oz. Now Creed already went down one swinging. Foul back. Laduka can't get it. Curveball area, come on, right on the corner. Right on the corner. Oh, just missed it. Got him swinging already. Back to back strikeouts uh, for Creed. Two strikeouts in a row, I should say. Nas threw another quick inning. We're already in the sixth inning. 4 1 game. Here's Luke Scott. Change a pie for strike one. Count as 1-1 now. There you go. Base hit for Luke Scott. We're facing... Let's get into 7-8-9. No, Loduka, he has a chance at a cycle. You know what? Why not go for it? The odd chance we'll ever get a triple. Make it special. Is that going to be... I think it's going to be caught. Yep. Luke's got a first base. Now Curtis Green is in two for two with a home run, but he got a home run on a pretty uh, easy pitch. So don't let it go to your head. Keep your ego in check. Count as 1-1. And he pulled that one perfectly for another base hit. He's three for three tonight. All right, Aurelia. And this is the kind of matchup we want. And that is not the hit we want. Is that going to be a double play? It's off the mark. Oh, he got it just in time. But regardless, that should have been a double play. So, once again, technically two men left on for the Jays. Bottom of the sixth. Facing LaRue. Just foul. Four 
first out. All right, great Molina. Frankly, I think especially this latter half of the lineup, just consider the breaking pitches. Let's keep going with the fastballs. Perfect. Second out. Top of the lineup, Kazuo Matsui, one from two, but he does have a low average. First, I think that's the first pitch of the day. For the first uh, at bat, the first pitch was the ball from Oz. And now Matsui is two for three. All right, next up, Katze. Now, this is the guy we want to pitch aggressively to. So we got Kearns two spots from him. Exactly what we wanted, strike out. Top of the seventh now. Still a 4-1 lead. Well, this game really hasn't become an offensive slugfest for us at least, but never say never. Ball one. Oh, he's taking his time getting back to that mound. Count is even 1-1 one, one now. Two one count now. Count is even two two. Is it right to Kazuo Matsui? First out. Lance Burke, we're not batting in an ideal spot for you. No men on base, but let's see if we can make him tired out there. 0 2 count now. And that gets down there for a base hit. Now, Rios, now we know who's up next. We know the man on deck. Ball one. Ball two. 2 1. That's going to be another double play we've grounded into. Yeah, that's back to back innings. We were taken apart by double plays. They're going to show the replay of that one. Hit right to the shortstop. Seventh inning stretch. Let's have a little drink of water and let's just evaluate uh, how the game's going for us. We've. Uh, off plenty of men on base. We got got plenty of double plays. And really it's surprising that, you know, hey, James Seals only went what to the fourth inning. And he only allowed a he allowed a run and a three run shot. So you can't really blame him. We just need Oz to keep doing his thing. So if you can get the complete game, because it's one, two, three strikes are out at the old ball game at Oriole Park. Here we go. Final nine outs. But we're facing three, four, five. This is by far the most dangerous part of their lineup. Just over the head of Luke Scott. Couldn't make a miraculous diving catch this time. But now we that's dangerous. We got a man on second. I tell you, we pitch away from Kearns. Pitch a lot of borderline pitches. Don't get hit yourself. Okay, three straight pitches he struck out. We had the base there at first. Bartlett. Oh, double play Ray Durham. Perfect. All right. Ray Durham's full of surprises. Man who stole home. Man, look at that. Unassisted double play. And we're through the seventh just like that. All right, Braun. Let's just, you know what? Sit on it just in case he throws a mistake. Look at Braun. You know he's hungry for it. That's caught by the first baseman. It looks like Braun's probably going to go hitless today unless we get around to him in the lineup. Let's see if Lowell can get a hit. And there you go. That's exactly what he needs. That's going to go for a base hit. That's going to go for an extra base hit. And if he'd hurry the hell up. There we go. Luke Scott. Strike one. Back. Oh. Got him swinging at that. And Denaro's really 
Ah, okay. Yeah, that's the second time we've argued with a strikeout looking call. 37 pitch. He has really, like, been kind of a workhorse here. Granted, I've been swinging out a lot of early pitches and getting myself into double plays, but that's what you do. Out again, all right. And another man we left on base. Six more outs we need. Come on, Roy. Perfect pop-up. Alrighty, one out already. And this game has gone by insanely quick. And Joe Creed 0 for 2. Strike one fastball. I'm t just lay off the breaking pitches to these guys. One of them gets on base, I'm not worried. Let's throw a slider to him. And he got a piece of it, and look. Popped a, foul a guy uh, on the left side and then the right side. Isn't that funny already? 0 for 2, Jason LaRue. Strike one. Perfectly on the line. Pulled that one well, and that's well foul. Got him swinging. Already into the ninth inning. Still a 4-1 game. And this game has been close. We've Theoretically, there's an alternate universe where we're winning 14-1 because we get hits with the men on base, but not right now. You know what, Granderson? Why not? You're 3-for-3. Three three. Just for you, have some fun out there. Count as 1-1 now. Pulls that one right to the second baseman, but he was 3-for-3. Three three. Can't blame him. 0-for-4, Rich Aurelio. Can't really blame him on the strikeout, but double play, ground out. Ball, oh, that one in our favor. I thought that was a strike. Count as 1-1. 2-1. Ken is even. And he's getting tired out there. Full count now. Rich Aurelio. And there you go. That's a base hit. Now just for the insurance, do you want to bring in Frank Thomas? That's probably... You know what? I don't think that's a half bad idea. So what, yeah, he's a better power hitter, and he's facing the lefty pitcher anyway. All right, Frank. The big hurt, or Frank the tank. Strike one. Ball one. Just need that over the middle. Even the game's slowing down. It just can't handle the presence of Frank Thomas in the batter's box. Oh, come on. Is that going to go for a base hit? No, it will not. Well, he didn't get the home run, but hope this next guy can. Strike one. There you go. Come on, Berkman. Is that going to go over? Beautiful. Alrighty. It looks like a home run streak continues. Home runs in consecutive games. Lance Berkman gets number 19 on the season. And we only need one more out to battle a three-run deficit. And now turn into five. Perfect swing. I, I thought about letting that one go, but I figured, you know what? You don't want to get into a quick 0-2 count. Is that going to drive him off the mound? He needed one more out. But he pitched amazing. Now, Rios, now we got a guy off a high ERA, and I got two righties back-to-back. -back. I want you to see if Braun can uh, get himself a hit here. Is that going to go for a base hit? It's going, it's going, it's going, it's going. I just out of reach of the shortstop. All right, Ryan Braun. Strike one. Oh, okay, come on, this is getting... Kind of egregious now, but it's a 1-1 one, one count. Foul. 1-2. Now he wants to keep an eye on uh, Rios. 
He really wants to keep it. He, he's just afraid to pitch to him. He's 0 for 4, but he knows what can happen. That one's out of the zone. Count is even to 2-2. Two, two. Foul that one back. That could have easily been in the out there. Grounder foul. Another foul ball from Ryan Braun. He's making him work for this one. Oh, went down looking. Oh, well. You win the game, that's all that matters, right? All right, I say Roy can allow, or excuse me, odds, can allow two runs before I bring in Lindstrom. I only bring in Lindstrom if, like, the save is possible. And it's one out already. So you got the one out, but the most dangerous part of the lineup's up. Oh, come on. This umpire, man. Seriously. Okay, this is getting kind of egregious now. Seriously. Calls are in, their fa in the home team's favor. What a coincidence. At least we got him swinging. Last out of the game, Kotze is 0 for 3. Let's see if we can make a 10 strikeouts. Ball 1. This umpire, man, I mean, that one, I agree, was a ball, but he does not want to give anything to Roy and to Oz. I got, of course, Roy Holiday and Roy Oswald have the two top pitchers in our, in our rotation. They have the same, uh, same first name. Like, what are the odds? Oh, Zimmerman grounds out. That's the game. Oswald with the complete game. Only allowed the one run in the first inning. 6-1 win for Toronto. Even without that two-run two run, uh, shot by Berkman at the top of the ninth, we win. That would have been uh, a little tighter, though. Top of the first inning, that was the hit that drove in our first run. So Berkman got, what, three RBIs, and Grinderson got the other three. There's the only RBI of the game. Just out of reach of Durham's glove. You can't even blame Oz on that one. Top of the ninth. Boom. And it got over the highest part of the outfield wall, too. That really solidified the win for the Jays. Bottom of the ninth. Grounder to third. Zimmerman ain't a good runner. Look at that. He allowed the first run, but it's just goose eggs for the rest of the uh, for the rest of the game. Complete game, no walks, and Granderson won the game for us with that three-run shot. And I just remember, I said, oh, Berkman's going to keep our home run streak alive, but Granderson hit one anyway. A uh, well, little silly thing to say. Oswald is 3-0 and on the season. James Shields is 1-2, and which they take him out at the right time. He probably might not even walk away with the loss on that. Berkman got his 19th. Grinderson got a 6th. We know the RBI totals. Let's just take a look at everything else. So Braun went hitless. He was the only one that went hitless. Of course, Frank Thomas did. But yeah, Rich really uh, got a... Uh, let's see, 1 for 5, 2 for 4. 3 for 5, 3 for 5, 0 oh for 5. 1 for 4, 2 for 4, 2 for 4, 3 for 4. A better hitting than I thought we were, but... Of course, the score didn't reflect that because all the plays we got. Yeah, three. Yeah, we got a lot. How many three? One every uh, three innings. 19 6, yep. Yeah. Frank Thomas still does not have a hit on the season, but I'm just curious to check these guys. Yeah, Leah, look at those averages. Oof. Only 73 pitches it took for the complete game. Had the one year earn run. Gary is still below one. He is pitching out of his mind to start the start the season. Yeah, and that's going to be it for this game. Let's take a look at uh, around the league. There you go. Got about 280 points from that. Red Sox lost. Yankees won, but the Rays lost. Okay, not bad, all, all things considered. That's what we want when they're playing teams out of our division. We want them to lose because those are games that... uh don't affect us if the other team in the other division has a lead. And, you know, we want to make our trip to uh, the postseason easier. Not sure if I ever clarified this, but 
this is before the wild card game, so it's the three division winners and the best winner that didn't win a division as the wild card. But I'm gonna go ahead and end that here. That was a great performance by Oswalt. That was great. I'd say a great buying performance, but all the double plays, like, we should have had more runs by the end of the game, but can't argue with a win. We're still undefeated on the season 13-0. I'll see you for the next game with Baltimore.